Hi everyone, today we are going to show you some declamation piece about different kinds or types of discrimination. We titled it Alienation. In sports, your performance in a game determines the hard work and the talent that you have. Hi, I'm Carl. I train every day to have a good performance in basketball. I do some push ups, curl ups, squats, practicing my ball handling, shooting, and many more. I do this such thing to improve my skills and nurture my talent. There's one thing that I can control, and it is my height. My family members are not that tall, but in basketball tryouts, the taller, the more attention that you have. But after all, I passed the tryouts and joined the basketball team. But something doesn't seem right. My teammates are tall and I feel out of place between trainings and games. In everything I do, they don't care. Even if it's for the team, they won't appreciate it. In a game, they barely pass me the ball. I'm free! Pass the ball! I shouted. But still, they won't pass to me. And the coach doesn't have a choice but put me on the bench. It's because I can show off if I can even touch the ball. It feels like skills and talent are seen. And I know not just in basketball and sports, some are being bullied at the school and your workplace. It's not our fault that we only got this high. I really want to go taller. I really want to, but there's, there's nothing I can do. Height has nothing to do with sports. I can do so much more using this height. If you were a teammate, would you pass me the ball? Or keep mine and other shorties, skills and talent, hidden and sealed? If you were a teammate, what would you do? Fat people are digging their own grave with a spoon. They don't have self-control. They eat too much. They need to start exercising and stop being lazy. Don't you care about how I feel? The words that you omit make me question myself. Am I not deserving? Does society hate me for being fat? When confidence fades and self-esteem takes a beating, it's hard to take weight loss exercise. For there is no questioning that being overweight, obese, can be hard mentally, physically, and emotionally. Being fat is hard. Whenever I wear shirts, that are not thick, it always shows my love handles and my boobs. Hey, look at those guy. Look at this guy. He has a boob. Yeah, he should wear a bra. People are so unaware of things because they are so fixated on physical changes, the superficial things. People are shaming me for being fat. The hurtful remarks, the bad jokes about my weight was something that I am uncomfortable about. I became unsociable. I was burned out people telling me straight directly that, hey, your boobs got bigger. Yeah, he can't run fast. Hey, I can see your boobs through your shirt. I became inward looking. I isolated myself from people. It was hard staying away from people. But it made me realize that I should change. 
It's time to break free. It's time to stop from being comfortable, from being complacent. I started learning what was best for my body. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually. I wanted to look better, but also I wanted to feel better myself. At first, it was exhausting. Oh, it's so exhausting. But it was so fulfilling because I lost three kinds of weight. The weight of people's judgment and opinion of me. The weight of my past and the weight of being complacent and comfortable. To all the people that are struggling, love yourself. Be patient. You are worth the kindness you receive regardless of what size and and shape you are. Whenever I go outside, I can't help but notice those eyes filled with disgust looking at me like I'm some sort of lowly inferior being lesser than them. The voices that I hear almost every single day Take a look at his face. Those pimples look so disgusting. Just imagine if you had those scars on your face. Does he even wash his face? The only thing I could do is walk and pretend like there's nothing going on. While from inside, I feel like I'm being crushed from the words that are coming out of their mouths. Do you know how many times we think about the words that you have said? Do you know how much we want to get rid the thoughts of it inside of our head? We can't. We just can't. I always end up asking myself, why? Why does this always happen? Why? Why do they always treat me like this? Why? Why do I always get bullied for the way that I look? Why? Why do we always have to cope up with the society's standards to be treated as an equal and to be called as what they consider as normal? Do we really need to have a clear and flawless skin to be accepted? Why can't we just be we, me, ourselves? That mentality is the cause of why people cover their faces with thick makeup, buy loads of cosmetics and beauty products just to blend in and feel accepted. With that mentality, I ended up feeling insecure about myself, trying my best to hide my flaws, my acne, my scars, and my face. One, I hope that one day that mentality will change, that people will have this in mind, that having acne is normal, having freckles is normal, having scars is normal, having skin-related problems such as these are normal, then maybe when that day comes, we will be able to go out without worries. No more eyes looking at us with disgust. No more degrading. People will be treating us as an equal. A society, people like me, green dog. It's like 2020 was just a month ago, yet today is 2021 already. Time flies really fast. But why does self discrimination still exist up to now? Hey, there's a company that's looking for a salesman. Perhaps you want to apply. 
Oh, really? No, man, no. She's a woman. She didn't apply for that job. <laughs> See? That's what I meant. Our society has no equality until now. Influenced by the past. Influenced by the mentality that women don't have the capability. That women don't have the power to accomplish huge things like what men can do. That women are weak. No, we aren't weak. I am not weak. I am a woman that is skilled and compassionate. I keep working toward my goal, no matter what setbacks come my way. I stay firm and strong in the face of adversity. Now tell me, how can I be weak? Because I'm a woman? <laughs> I can see the future is bright, but somehow my vision is blurry. I cannot see clearly. Why do you judge me by my gender? Why do you treat me as if I am not a human being that can do things? We are pushed in living and believing that the world has changed. That equality is aimed with golden page. Yet what kind of mentality is that? I have no words or how to shape it in verses. But still, it exists, of course. Why don't you treat me the way I want to be treated? Instead of treating me as if I don't have the capability at all. This world can be so much better if quality persists. If quality exists. If people start to treat every gender equal. They are all human beings after all. Have you ever made a decision based on the fact that someone is from another country? Have you ever felt every eye on you, knowing that you are being constantly seen and judged? If you've never done something like this before, imagine how you liked it. Isn't it true that it's not as much as smidgen? Along these lines, in every event that we don't care for, we ought to never get it done to another person. Now and again, I am astounded by what I see. At others, I am profoundly disappointedly and surprised. Is it my color? Is it my language? Or is it my culture? Wandering around this beautiful world, but one question hinders me from meeting new people. Are you Filipino? With a smile on my face, I proudly say yes. They awkwardly smile and walked away. Why? What's different with me? Is it because I am a part of a third world country? Being in a workplace where I am the newcomer, eyes on me as I walk, whispers I hear every time I turn around. Why? What do they expect of me? To be tall as they are? To be fair skinned? Being different in a room full of ordinary people might not sound as pleasing. Being handed extra workload because they heard my countrymen are hard workers. Does that sound fair to you? We're simply ordinary people trying to make the most of our lives. Just regular people trying to make the best of our circumstances. No one has the right to pass judgment on another based on their color, status, experiences, or overall life circumstances. We are different from one another, and there's beauty in diversity, because every one of us is valid and valued. Have you ever felt every eye on you knowing that you are being continuously observed and judged? If you haven't been through this, just imagine. How would you like it? Not even a bit, right? So, if we don't like it, we should never do it to someone else. Racism can raise its ugly head in many places. It may occur in an active way or a passive way. 
it may be by exclusion, leaving people who are different out of social groups and gatherings, not considering their views and experiences, outcasting them aside, calling them names, and insulting them. Discrimination based on color, clothing, religion, or culture is a racism. A strong legal community is needed to protect people targeted by abuse. Discrimination hunts many people worldwide. It can make their life worse, full of pain and struggle. It not only breaks heart, but also wants to make people give up in progressing at work or socially. Loss of a job, loss of promotion, and such events can destroy moral. They can become reasons for venting out of everyday frustration and aggression. Many major religions rebuke racism. This is true in Christian teaching, according to the Corinthians 12, 13 of the Bible, for in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. Before we judge someone badly or do something cruel to someone based on color, country of origin, or an issue of appearance, let's take a minute and think. Would we like to be in their shoes? Please stand where they are. Would we like to be treated spitefully for no reason or other than the way we appear? The answer is no. Then let's not do something to someone that we wouldn't like to happen to ourselves. Racism is a vice and it needs to be eradicated. I shall finish with the sad words. According to Nelson Mandela, no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Thank you.